Right, so we're in uh, we're in Squad, and basically before you do any replays, you have to set your settings for it. Go into replays or settings, replays, replay settings. If you set yourself to a number, of automatically recall games, and then the number. These are after they start deleting them. Now, what I normally do is have it as automatic, and then basically they're accrued into an automatic folder that you'll find in your squad. So as you can see, these ones have got named because I've renamed them. But your normal ones you'll get is these dates, and setting and lines of how much they've actually got. So if I alt tab out of this and go to the desktop, if you notice, I've got a, a couple there that have haven't got any names on them. It's just the dates. So what you can do is you can double click on them, and it opens them up in Notepad. Or I use Notepad Plus for mine. Find if you check at the top of it, you'll find it shows you the name of the layer. Basically, copy the layer name, copy, then just replay and paste in the name. That way, you get instead of having a, a, a long num set of numbers and dates, you've actually got the layer name that you can look for. So that when you go back into your squad, you will end up having it renamed. Now, you have to switch between um, windows first to get it to ch to update. Yeah, and so once it's done, well, there's four there now. So if I if I change one one over, so this one, Alberta Invasion Three. Uh, uh, go back into Squad. Your then see there's four there. If I change the replay and it updates, see? It's quite simple that way. That way you know the name of the file. You don't have to do the layer. You can change, add, your, add whatever you want into there. And that's how I organise my replays. Okay, this is um, a Bazaar Insurgency. Just so you get an idea of the time scrap. It should work on this one. So, so for example, we drag along. So it worked. So you can drag to different points. So I have a tendency to sort of like try and pause it or slow it down to then to drag it so that it gets a chance to update. So, as you can see, with our Basra invasion, works. So, what's the difference? I have no clue. None to give you on that one. So, these ones are pretty easy. Now, I use the video bar at the bottom as a scrub bar. Yeah, so you can like you scrub across. But what you can do is, if you try and find, say, a piece of action that you're looking for, and you know that it's... Um, say so six, six, um, seventeen. I use the the O key, which allows you to turn the bar on and off as a clipper board, so that or clapper board, so that I know when I put it into the video. It, uh, if I have no bar, that's where I'm going to be using capturing a, a, a slot. So I set it up to say one one speed, take the bar off, and I'm now now filming. Yeah, now recording whatever action that I've actually got. Yeah, not a lot happening. But it's got the it's got the motion, it's got what I needed. And then hit the O key again, and I know that I've got my action recorded. So that's how you can deal with the scrub line when you can move it around and it makes life a lot more simpler. Okay, right, I'm gonna take it into another one. Okay, settings. You can jump between replays just by going in and going out. So this is a co-op invasion. So this one, I can't scrub through. Um, but I'd have an idea of on the, the timeline. So this is what I would do with um, one that I can't scrub. I know that it's going to fail every time that I do it. So I start speeding it up. Now before everybody moves, you're pretty free to speed it up quite 
quickly, like the four or five minute mark. If you do it before the four or five, after the four or five minute mark, it will cause some fun and games because you see everything's going ultra fast, but the computer, it, the recording is quite simple. Now, supposedly, I don't know, I've only read about this, supposedly the data that it records is more around where your position is. So the further away you are, the harder the or the lack of information that's stored. So your action is going to be generally where you are. So I can't verify that, but that's what I was, was reading at one point. Right, so as I was saying, your middle mouse button, if you scroll with it, it allows you to change, scroll back and it allows it to scroll forward and it speeds it up. Um, your six key can bring up objectives, if you can see there's an objective there, well that's the main base and the objective is over here. They're useful sometimes when you're trying to figure out where you are on the map, but most of the times you'll know from the locations. Now let's um, speed it up a touch. Oh. All right, this should this should be an example of when it goes a bit do lally, because it's now got to catch up. All right, see what I mean? It jumps. Now I can't go backwards because. Because I've jumped, uh, I'm forward on the timeline. So the only option I actually get is to go settings and just reload the replay. That's that's it. That's just the simplest option you can get. Right. So what I do is I've got my actual film, take it into say Premiere. You can use, there's loads of different video editing software that you can use. Start a new one. Um, import the file. Quite often I'd, I'd create, take the squad, cut it and go and create a file, folder. So, no folder, how. Paste it in there, drop whatever folders that I want. And that are like files, like images. I, I tend to use ones like um, Bloodbound, yeah, and Squad Logo, so I copy those, copy my images into my folder so I'm, I'm ready for, before I do, before I start the project, and then just import the folder. Then once I import the folder itself, drop onto the timeline. So the first thing to do is scrub through, find any of the time bars, see where I've got the bar at the bottom, find through, quickly go to where the the actual action starts and then do rough cuts. Now the rough cut is basically taking out anything that has the bar in. So that whole clip is wasted so I can get rid of it. So cut, ribbon cut is the next bit. And that's how I quickly cut, create the start of the videos. Alright, so that is how I would end up editing through and then put them together in whichever order I want. So that's how I do game replays. Alright, best for best of luck and I enjoy and you enjoy your replays if you get the chance to do. Them. Ciao for now.